Behind me is one of the most unique Airbnbs we have featured. It's a 27 foot grain silo on some beautiful Georgia pasture. Let's go check it out. This silo is located in Chickamauga, Georgia on some beautiful land with fields surrounding it. Probably one of our favorite parts is the fact that right across from the silo is a field for the owner's horses. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice little touch. Mm -hmm. And we actually got to meet Jean and Stephanie yesterday. They are some of the sweetest people and hearing about how they actually built the silo was just so fascinating. Mm -hmm. But we'll get into that once we're inside. And then one of the more unexpected surprises is the fact that the sun sets right out in front of the silo and it is beautiful. Last night it was a deep red mm -hmm. as it was going down and it was a sight to see. Speaking of the sunset, the perfect spot to enjoy it is right here on their front patio. You've got a swing and then a couple of chairs and a table if you want to have a meal out here. It is the perfect spot to enjoy the animals, land, and each other, whoever you bring. <laughs> and something I love about the silo is the color. They painted it this really sleek gray black color with that gives it a modern feel and then it has the contrasting natural wood and they also have complemented it well with some beautiful landscaping and fresh flowers making it super inviting. Now let's go check out the interior. Walking into the silo, one of the most surprising aspects is the size. It is so much larger inside compared to what it looks like from the outside. Mm -hmm. This is a 27 foot silo and the way that it was built is so fascinating. It actually started with the roof and they raised it up to put in section by section until the structure was complete. And it's actually two different silos. Mm -hmm. There's the exterior that you see on the outside, then there's insulation and then what you see on the inside. And the walls inside are beautiful. It works perfectly with the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. They left it natural. It's kind of this whitewash, rustic feel. And then they just added in lots of reclaimed wood and different decorations that really tie it all together perfectly. Yes, I really love the decor. And starting here in this open living room, you've got a comfortable leather couch, a couple of chairs for extra seating, and this sweet little coffee table with a book on it so you can leave a note for the owners, which I always love doing. <laughs> and then across from this, you've got a gas fireplace that is beautiful and warms up the space with a TV for entertainment above. And then behind us is the full kitchen with a large island and you've got stools for plenty of seating. The cabinetry is also beautiful being a navy blue and they've got some gold finishes and all the appliances you need, including a dishwasher. They're mini and they fit it all into this little space perfectly. I love that they left some goodies for every guest as well, including some snacks and s'more supplies, so we'll definitely be dipping into that a little bit later. Right next to the kitchen, they've got access to outside and some towels for something you'll get to see later, as well as a half bath down here for all the guests. And right next to the half bath are some shelves with games and a record player. And then next to that is a custom cabinet Murphy bed. Mm -hmm. So you can have some more people in here. And then probably one of my favorite features are the stairs. Mm -hmm. The staircase wraps with the silo and the cap rail to the handrail is actually pieces of rebar, mm -hmm. which again, just holds together that rustic aesthetic in here. And speaking of the stairs, let's go check out the master bedroom. Yes. 
Real quick, please be sure to like the video, comment your favorite part below, and subscribe to our channel. And if you're a host of unique or amazing short-term rental that you want us to feature, you can go to journeymore.com and fill out the contact form. Up here you have the master bedroom area with a king bed, a couple of side tables, and just some really cute decor. They also have a dresser and TV. On one side of the bed they have the master bath that has a beautifully tiled shower with some unique tile that is actually like newspaper tiling. So I love that additional creative touch and it's just a beautifully done bathroom. On the other side of the bed they have another space that is a closet for storage that also contains a washer and dryer. And one of the best features is the ceiling. The owner, Gene, said that he pressure washed each piece and it came out looking just as you see. And it is perfect. Mm -hmm. It's got the rust and the color yes. to really bring everything together. It has so much character. And all across this silo, they've got windows to let in plenty of light. It's very bright in here mm -hmm. throughout the day. And you've got the view of the beautiful farm all around you. Now there's some fun features that we're gonna show you outside. Right out back the silo is a giant fire pit area with some Adirondack chairs, some string lights surrounding it. And then one of my favorite parts is they use the rock from actually putting in the electrical lines mm -hmm. for the silo to create this nice little backdrop that just really ties it all in together well. And then if you take the path the other way, away from the fire pit, we actually have another mini silo with a hot tub inside of it. And they've got a fan in it and eventually we'll have some string lights so it'll be perfect to hang out in day or night. So not only do you have a little silo home, but you have a silo hot tub, which is so fun. And being in the hot tub, it's actually placed perfectly for the sunset. Yes. And so again, just another spot to relax and enjoy that sunset. If you wanna book the silo at Gene Acres yourself, we'll leave a link in the description below. But for now, we're gonna enjoy a night here at the silo. cool thing about these records is my poppy, my dad's dad, actually played with Hank Williams Jr. and Danny Davis in the Nashville Brass for years. And so his name is actually on the back of these records as songwriter and then also as bass and guitar player. So we're gonna throw one on and enjoy his music. Stephanie was so sweet and she made us a charcuterie board, something you can request while you're here. So we're gonna have some snacks, listen to music and play a little game. So this is our new board game obsession. It's <laughs> called Wingspan. And by the way, the hosts provide a lot of games here, but again, we absolutely love this one. It is probably in our top three board games of all time. We are those people that write like the really in-depth and strategic games that are pretty obscure and out there. So this one is really fun because you are kind of playing your own game the whole time and then compare a score at the end to see who wins. Scores, Tally. Yeah. Like to know? <laughs> I don't know if I want to know now. Hayden came in with a whopping 74 points. Okay. And your wife came in with 81. <laughs> uh, there. Got him. You haven't seen it yet, but he's been kicking my tail at the last few Airbnbs. <laughs> We've been at, so kind of true. had to uh, strategize my way into this one, and uh, did okay. Yeah, okay. did good. Now it's time to go to bed. <laughs> 
so peaceful in the morning with the birds chirping and the rooster crowing. It is just perfection out here. What a way to start the morning, have a cup of coffee. And now I think we're gonna go have a little dip in the hot tub just to finish off this incredible stay. Would so recommend coming. It has been nothing but joy and fun and relaxation. Staying in this silo has been absolutely wonderful. This is an experience you do not want to miss. And again, if you want to book a stay here, we will leave a link in the description below. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can take you along on all of these amazing and unique Airbnbs. <laughs>